Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at how to save a template, a database template. So what I've got on the screen is a database with three tables, consultants, project, and sponsor. Just information in there. And then a little form which looks at the, the people in that in those tables. So let's say, for example, that you, you use this type of database all the time, but you want to have it as a, an option for people to open and start from scratch so they don't have to recreate um, this table and do all the relationships and things like that. So what I'm going to do is create a new database, import these tables, and then add a few extra things and then save it as a template so that I can use it or multiple people can use it going forward. So first of all, let's do that. So if I go control N for new blank database. So I've got a blank database. Now I don't really need this table. Just close that for a minute because I'm going to get table from that other one. So it's going to be from database, from access, and then I've got to browse from that. Obviously you can create a database from scratch without any data in it and do the same sort of thing. So I need to go and find that database, which is in examples and relationship demo. It was that one and then OK. And that should show me all the tables and queries and everything in there. And then I will be able to bring them in. So there's the three tables. I'm going to select all and then OK. And then they will be brought into this database. I don't need to save the steps. Close that. And there they are. So the same three tables. Now I don't want this data. Let's say this data is no longer needed. Well, not definitely needed because I'm going to have this as a a template. Just get rid of this. Let me get rid of it. So I need to get rid of the linked data first. I think. Yeah. It should let me get rid of that now. Yeah, and sponsor get into that and just delete this. So then you've got three clean tables all set up, close them down, and you can then go and link them or check, make sure the links are there. So I want one more, I want sponsor to come in there and just bring that across. So these are the fields and sponsor, in fact, project is going to be the main table so it's going to be sponsor in there so get that sponsor id to sponsor id enforced one to many create save so that's what i want for that close that that's the link now if i want to create a form let's go for a form create a form um just form see what happens here it's created a form with a sub form attached to it so i'll just save that that's what I want. FRM consultants. You can tidy this up as well. OK. And then I'm not going to create any queries for this one, but you could create queries. It's quite hard to test queries if you haven't got any sample data. But as it is there, that'll do. Now I want to save this as a template. So I'll go file, save as, and you get all these different options that you can select. And this is the one I want, template option. So you click on that, make sure that's active, save as, and then it comes up with this box, which gives you some information. So you give it a name. So I'll call this HR database. That's what I'll call it. And then you can put a description in there. This is where it's going to go. If you don't want it to go there, you can change that location, but that's OK. And then all the rest of this stuff, you can obviously see what it says. I don't need to fill any of this in. I'm just going to click OK and it's now been successfully saved in that location hr database okay now if i close this database let's do control w get rid of it and then go back into access what i've got now is the option of going these are the previously used ones. If I go new, this is where all the templates are. These are preloaded templates. I'll have a quick look at those in a second, but 
the ones that I want, mine, are going to be in personal. And there's the HR one. So if I click on that, it asks me to create that. It's got a different name, not HR. It comes up with database, whatever number you're on. Uh, database 4. So I could have named that. And then you've got the same structure as in here. Blank tables. But it's ready to go, ready to be filled in as a template. Now if I go and file new again and go to personal and click on HR database again, that's where you would name it. So let's go Steve, Steve's project or Steve projects. So that's going to be my projects and now I'm going to use and manage this. I might be the manager for several consultants in this example and now I've got my own little database called Steve Projects and I can build it up but the structure, the start point if you like is already set up for me. I don't have to worry about doing these links or creating all these fields, all these tables because they're already done. Close that, ready to go. Now the other templates that you can see when you go file new are all these preset ones which are which are great. Are great If you're new to access this is a great place to have a look because it gives you lots of great ideas. The only problem with it is you do need to have some sort of knowledge to work some of these. So if I click on contacts, for example, and create contacts, I'll just leave it as that, but that's where you would save the name of the database. I'll create that. Let's see what this produces. So straight away, it's got a wizard and a little video of how to get this. I'll just close this off, but let's have a look at the tables. Look at all this. So you've got tables, queries, forms, reports, and macros. So to use this, it's you can go straight away, but to be honest, you probably want some knowledge of how this is all set up, what all this means in design of the table, and what the form is talking about, how you create all these drop-down lists. So great to have a look at if you're learning access, and then what you need to do is go and try and replicate this yourself, I think, um, rather than putting up with this because if I went into database tools let's have a look at the relationships so there's no relationships in these these tables are not related there's only one table so this is a fairly simple example uh, you've got a couple of forms there that's the contact list I think um, contact details is that one that's quite a nice little form a little picture set up so this information feeds that table there um, so these templates file new I'll go for I try and get a a different one that's all got asset tracking that might be a bit more complicated yeah it seems to be a bit more going on here so this is a bit more of a, an involved database but again it's a good start point and this wizard will give you an idea how it all works but if I look at the database tools on this one we are starting to get a related database relationship there one to many and it's got a join type as well if I click on that uh, you're going to join type yeah include all records from assets but only those from contacts where there are join fields are equal so again it means nothing to you if you're new to access but you do need to build up to it but it's a good place to start looking at these and this is all what you need to do this is what Microsoft suggests you have in a contact database for the first one and this one is an asset database for the second one or like I've said, you can create one yourself, keep it simple, and go into personal and then open up this HR database that I created earlier on. So it's just a quick look at databases, how you can use the ones that are preloaded. My advice is to have a look at them. Understand access before you start using them. A good idea to have a look. Or secondly, you can create one yourself. Just create the tables, do the relationships, put the reports and the queries and stuff like that in with some sample data then get rid of the data um, when you import it into a new database so it's clean and then you're ready to go. Save that as a database and then it's uh, usable going forward. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.